Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches. And so this is my vlog, almost one of the last. I wanna say this is gonna be my day 21. And then I'll do one for 22. And then we're driving up to Door County. Maybe I'll do one on the 23rd up there. Um, I don't know the Wi-Fi situation, if it'll be able to upload. I mean, I certainly won't have my computer to edit for a thumbnail, but if I can figure something out, I'll do it. But anyway, so the title of this video is going to be like Vlogmas Day 21, but then also I'm going to put something in there like holy cats, that's a lot of hats or something like that, because I'm now going to show you all of the finished. I'm so happy. My fingers are aching, but all of the finished hats for the second graders and the pom-poms. So here we go. This is made with, I love this chunky and I can't multicolor something. And it's got a little brown pom-pom. This one is made with Barcelona. Now I've been using this yarn a lot for a lot of projects. I made a granny shrug out of it. I made one of Bag O'Day shawls out of it. I made some hats for my friends last year. I made some mittens. This is a yarn that I hoard up. I get it at Michael's and it's got a pink pom-pom. Here is a, I love this chunky, and this is just pink from Hobby Lobby, and I put a bright reddish pom-pom on it. Here's another one out of the same, I love this chunky, but I put a different color pom-pom on it. It's like two different hats. And then this one is a Karen cake, and I put a hot pink. Interestingly enough, I had, this is remnants from a hat last year, and little Carrie has it, and it's so cute because when the kids are on the playground or walking through the school, there's about four of them who are still wearing their hats from last year. So uh, last year I did this, and I put a purple pom-pom. So this year, this is the Karen cake with a pink pom-pom. This is a chunky cake, too, mind you. So here is I Love This Yarn Chunky from Hobby Lobby with a brown pom-pom. And -pom. teal, here's the same color one, but this one has like a blue gray. Now I'm going to tell you as I talk, I did two different hat patterns this year. This, actually maybe three. This one is just crochet in the half in the back loop, half double crochet, a chain of 27. And then I'm not about sure how many rows I do, um, or I make a big rectangle. And then when I think I've got enough, I like slip stitch up the side and then I have Flynn put it on his head. And if it fits Flynn, then I stop. If it's too big, I take a row out. If it's too small, I add a row. Now, the most simplest way would probably be to take a measure and measure all the way around your head. And then that is how long or how long you make your rectangle before you slip stitch up the side. And then you weave all the way around and you cinch the top. I love these top cinched hats because I think they look the best with pom poms. This hat is actually the same one that came in last month's Bella Coco's pattern. I don't think, you can't see it as much because Bella Coco had you on this bobble row. You would change colors, so the bobble was a different color. But um, this one is just a plain flat top. It's not cinched. I'm about to pop the pom-pom off so you can see. And so I think these flat hats see like that they look a little funny with the pom-poms in my opinion i like the ones that are cinched i think they give it a better look for the pom-pom but anyway side story okay so here is another one of i love this yarn multi remember these two have different color pom-poms actually yeah there's just the two of them one has a brown one one has a red i'm gonna be honest i don't think the red really matches very well but I couldn't use a brown because then it's the same hat. And um, you don't want the hats to get mixed up. You know, if, you know, Lily has the brown one and then Becca over here also does and their hats are mixed up. So it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. Um, this one also is one of Bella Coco pattern that just came out of that crochet. And this is a Lion Brand Chunky Acrylic. I got this at Joann's. And you can see there's that bobble row. Again, I didn't change any colors. I just kept going with the pattern. And it has a brown pom-pom. 
Here is one of my other favorite color yarns to hoard up. This is Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Carousel. I only have one in that colorway, and then it has a purple pom-pom. And then here is Michael's Copenhagen. I don't remember what the colorway is, and this one's got pink and light blue and gray. And I don't think I have another pink pom-pom, so it just has a brown one. And then here is Bernat Soft and Chunky in the colorway Heather Gray with a brown pom-pom. I think this could be a boy or a girl's hat. And then this is a Lion Brand Blue Denim with a white pom-pom. Again, this hat, this is actually one of my classic hats that I've made before. Um, this is one where you do front post double crochet and it gives you like that striping look. I have a child in my class who is wonderful, no judgment, but he's kind of got a big noggin. And so I had to make two hats that were like adult sizes so that in case, so that he could choose which hat he wanted for his big melon. He's got a big brain. True though, he's super smart. <clears throat> and so then I made another one. This is also the Bella Coco pattern. This is um, Barcelona and some kind of hazel. As you can see, there's that row of baubles. Yep, and basically, this one might actually be too big for that guy but I just wanted to make sure he was also able to choose. And if it is too big, maybe I'll just give it extra to a principal, right? So these were two bigger hats for him. Um, this is the gray taupe or the taupe gray with a black pom-pom, Bernat soft and chunky. This one is loops and thread. Oh, those Barcelona and Copenhagen from Michaels, those are also loops and thread. And I don't remember camo. I got this a really long time ago from Yolanda. This is one of her favorite yarns and she sent me a bunch of them. This is kind of a smaller one because I got two little guys that got really tiny little ones. And I didn't know, I wanted to have a couple little tiny ones in case they wanted them. Here's another one. This is a Hobby Lobby yarn and it's something like Baby Serenity. I got this from Michelle. This is also one of those little tiny ones for those one of those two little tiny boys. This one is brown. I wanna say also, thank you, Jared. My son is dancing over there on the other side. I'm sorry, you can't see. Oh, but he's trying to wave to you in the reflection, but you can't see him. Okay, so this one also is, um, a brown one, loops and thread. I can't remember what those little skeins are called. I don't remember. Anyway, that's what that is, Michael's loops and thread. And here is another Hobby Lobby. I love this chunky. This is some kind of like minty green with a little brown pom-pom. This one I also got from Michelle. She gave me like 900. I'm not kidding you, maybe 12 skeins of this yarn. Last year, I made a bunch of hats and mittens out of it, and I still had four left, so I make another hat. And this is the last of the Loops and Thread um, Cope, uh, Barcelona in the colorway Hazel with a brown pom-pom. So I did it, you guys. Holy cats, that's a lot of hats. This year, I did have 18 second graders, but um, one of them moved schools. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 17 now because one moved schools. So I have three extra hats in case they wanna choose one. And because Flynn's in the other second grade, what if he wants one? And that's that. If you get your little cute face in my video, mm. YouTube is gonna shut off my comments. Now I've heard that Holly from The Proper Pineapple has her kids in her video and YouTube doesn't shut off the her comments. So I wonder why I'm so unlucky. Anytime, you guys. Now, 
So that is all for this video. Like I said, when I'm, I'm going to do one, you know, tomorrow and I'm going to do one when I'm up in, in Sturgeon Bay, but I do have, I did get tagged in a video from Mama Lama Kayla and Big Daddy to do a question answer tag, random questions, not yarn questions. Please stop jumping, honey. Thank you. And Brandon and I will do that tag, but it's probably going to be like on December 26th. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description below to Mama Lama Kayla's video of her and her husband doing it. And then I believe she said Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast tagged her in it and maybe the one who started it. So I'll see if I can find that video and put that in there. So don't worry, I'll do it too. It's just um, at this point, this is the last minute Christmas hustle, right? We, today I went out and got a bunch of last minute Christmas presents and or this weekend. And I had to wrap them all up and I had to make sure I had presents for all the cousins or whatever that were coming. And then I still am trying to find presents around the house that I stashed and hid from the big kids to wrap and put them away. And then I had to finish sewing all those pom-poms and literally my fingers are just sore. So I was using a needle that had a little bit bigger head. And then by the time I got to the last five, I decided to try to find a needle that's head would go in the hole better. And there you go. I should have done that hours ago. But they're done. I feel so great. Hooray. It's so nice. Like, I feel really good on the first day when I'm, like, pumping out the hats. I'm like, yeah, I'm making hats for my kids. And then it turns into drudgery for a while. And then on the last day, I'm like, yay, I have a bag of hats. <laughs> so I'll tell you, last year, I only had to make 15 hats. Well, 17. This year, I have 17 kids, and I made 20 hats. And if I end up with more than 20 kids in my class next year, I'll tell you, that will be a lot of hats. Okay, so I'm going to close out this video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thank you for everybody who's been watching, like all thousand of you <laughs> who've been watching these daily vlogs. Now, I don't know that I can keep this up because I feel guilty when I miss a day and I feel tired. And then I feel bad when people say they can tell that I'm tired. And so, you know, I will try to keep up with the, you know, videos. October was a busy month. November was COVID. And so December, I made a video more than I had ever done. Definitely not every day, but at least 15 videos, right? I think I only skipped like three days. So I think that's amazing. I'll try it again. Um, I don't know when do they, I know they do Vlogmas and Vlogtober and August Vlogmas. I don't know. I'll try another one, okay? I just don't know how soon. Maybe I'll vlog every day in my spring break or something. Or maybe I'll continue this vlog of Christmas break. All the things I'm doing. I don't know. All right. Bye.